Risley is here and we need to talk about his kit, both the good and the bad. Firstly, I want to mention that this is my opinion, coming from someone who has a lot of playtime with C6 Ayaka in different team comps. This is not to say Risley is a bad character, as Genshin Impact is one of the few games that you don't need the meta characters to clear the toughest challenge in the game and enjoy what it has to offer. So let's start off with the good that his kit has to offer. Firstly is the best quality of life feature any character could have, and that is resistance to interruption. Given that Fontaine looks like it wants to favor healers over shielders, resistance to interruption is going to be very important for characters. We've just had a new character released in Nivellet that has his resistance to interruption gated behind his first constellation. This is also pretty important to Risley's playstyle because you are going to be in this brawl type engagement fighting up close and throwing punches. The next good thing about his kit is that he scales off of attack instead of HP like we see more often recently. This means that he can benefit from attack buffers like Bennett and Shenhua and he is not entirely reliant on HP buffers which are few at the moment. The downside to this and this applies to all catalyst users and bow users is that they generally have lower base defense which means that they are more squishy to enemies especially if they don't have that shield up. Lastly is his design which is separated from his element and it's a nice change of scenery as you could say. I would have liked to have had a darker tone on his clothing but I still think the coat off his shoulders gives him a pretty cool look and a solid 7.5 out of 10 looks wise. Now we need to talk about the bad or the not so good things about his kit. Firstly is the fact that he is centered around his normal attacks which means that he should have the best possible normal attacks for a cryo hyper carry DPS but unfortunately he does not. Ayaka is not even a catalyst character but she has unlimited access to cryo normal and charge attacks simply by using her alternate sprint with 0 second cooldown. Not only that but she deals significant amounts of damage with those attacks as well. The worst part about it is that Ayaka can play the role of DPS better than Risley and she doesn't only need to play DPS. Each attack of Ayaka deals significant amounts of damage. You can use her E and swap out or you can use her burst and swap out. You are not limited to getting massive value from one area of her kit. Razdi's kit is so focused on his normal attacks that he doesn't even deal damage with his elemental skill. His elemental skill simply puts him in a different or enhanced state. Other characters that change state when pressing their E still deal damage. For instance, Wanderer has a skill damage when entering flight. Otaglia only changes from bow to melee, but he still deals damage. Another reason why you aren't getting much value from Risley is comparing him to recent Catalyst character releases. Wanderer has a special feature, Nahida has a special feature, even Baiju has a special feature to some extent with his snake. Ayaka is not even a Catalyst user, yet she has an alternate sprint. Mona is a Catalyst user with an alternate sprint. Nahida is a Catalyst user with her little photography mode. Wanderer is a Catalyst user that allows him to fly. So if anything, it would make sense to have our first Cryo Catalyst user at least have some form of ability that makes him fun, whether it's some mobility or even a slide like he does have in the cutscene. Now Risley is this boxing playstyle and you aren't going to be throwing more than punches, but that doesn't mean we can't get a bit more range or attacks like we see in the cutscene. Not only that, but at least give his elemental skill some damage, or if it won't do damage, don't cancel it when he swaps out or make it available on cooldown or even give him a time sidestep sort of feature to avoid or mitigate damage similar to the timing that Yunjin has with her E. Something that would fit his identity of this boxer playstyle. In short, I think Risley is a character you pull for because you like his personality and character rather than his kit. He is outperformed by a character released when Inazuma released and just doesn't have enough damage value from his kit. That being said, there is room to add more damage features without power creeping him from the other DPS characters. That is going to be it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on Risley down below and I will see you in the next video.